chit 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 arrow 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 yo what up jackson 1616 creator and host of one mic stand also one third of sex with strangers a grown folks podcast shout out to seeing juice what up what up fuck is popping what's good man we back we back, we chilling, I'm in the groove, I'm back on the sofa, got some good shit for y'all niggas, man, today we're gonna keep it light, we're gonna keep it funny, we back with some nasty shit, we back with some fucking shit, we back with some sex shit, we back with some talk about my dick shit, do it work, do it not work, was it hard, was it medium hard, was it soft, did it not work at all, was it, was it a, ma- like, you know what I'm saying, we're gonna get right into it, you feel me, we're gonna get right into that shit, um, y'all know how, um, y'all know how I had, like, a couple of, couple of stories, or a couple of episodes, or just in regards to, you know, me telling my sexual blunders, you know what I'm saying, me telling, me telling some sex stories, sometimes I was giving out the best dick to the bitches that I didn't like, sometimes the bitches that I did like, I was giving them soft dick, or I was giving them limp dick, or I was giving them, I didn't, you know what I'm saying, I didn't really know how to, how to make my, my dick stay up forever, or I was just overthinking for some shit, or maybe I had to have my shit on the right channel, or maybe I was watching Seinfeld when I should have been watching Sports Center, or maybe I was watching Sports Center when I should have been watching Seinfeld, or maybe I should have had this one window not so wide open because of the glares of the street lights was just hitting off of the ass too crazy, and I couldn't hold my load, you feel me, it was a, a bunch of that shit, man, and then I got on live, and I was asking people, like, you know what I'm saying, well, like, what do y'all do, like, you know what I'm saying, like, what do y'all think about, how do y'all suppress the nut, how do y'all keep from, from, from busting too, too early, and, and premature ejaculation, and all that kind of shit, with your situation, you know what I mean, and a couple of people gave me a couple of tips, um, and a couple of people just was like, yo, man, just drink Henny, bro, just drink Henny, Henny got all of the, Henny, Henny, Henny Cognac got all of the, the, the ingredients that Viagra has in them, except for it's just in the urban form, you know, it's in the urban liquid form, formulation of the, of the erection to withhold the premature ejaculation. It's all in the Hennessy. I said, man, Hennessy is gross. That was my response. I was like, yo, Henny is gross, bro. Henny is fucking gross. You feel me? However, I was like, fuck it, man. After I heard a couple of people give me the the the, the Henny uh recommendation, you know what I'm saying? The the Henny uh anecdote or or whatever you want to call it. Man, I was like, fuck it, man. I so I went out of town, went to Louisiana, went to Dallas, was filming or whatever, right? And my homie was about to go to the liquor store. She's about to do a liquor store run. So I didn't have nothing to do. I didn't have nobody to fuck. I didn't have nothing. All I had, I was working on this. I was working on a proposal project. So I had the proposal project to work on. I was trying to get that shit done by the deadline. So I was like, fuck it, man. Let me just fucking get something to sip on. You know what I'm saying? I'll be feeling tipsy, whatever. I, it'll keep me up, keep me awake. And then, you know what I'm saying? I could zone out and just do my work. And, but since they're going on the liquor run, I was like, fuck it. Like, let me just, let me do a test run, like, on my own dick. That came out wrong because that means that the real warrant run would have been on somebody else's dick. That's not what I meant at all. That's not what I meant at all. What I meant was, let me do a test run on my dick with nobody there and see how it goes. And then maybe I could try it out on somebody in real life. So that's what I did. I was like, you know what? Since y'all niggas is going on the Henny run, man, give me some, give me some, uh, give me some Henny, give me some Henny. Oh, whatever. I don't give a fuck how much it costs. Just give me a bottle of Henny, man. My plan was, this is my plan. I was like, all right, they're going to come back with the Henny. I'm, I ain't even going to take no shots. I'm going to just mix the shit up with something that tastes all right because I know that this shit is gross, but I'm going to try to, 
you know what I'm saying, eradicate the, the super duper gross taste, mix it with some with some apple juice, Martinelli's, or mix it with some cranberry juice or something like that, and then, you know what I'm saying, take a couple of sips, have a couple of drinks, and then when everybody else either go to sleep or go out or do whatever it is that they do, you know what I'm saying, I'll creep back to the room, take my lab TZ with me, crack that joint open, go on to the good old double x in x or the porn hub or the or the tube or one of them joints right test this joint out see see what happened so what happened man it was me uh the homie i was shooting for jazz the other the other homie i was shooting the workout video for that i'm still working on right now and then one of jazz's homies it was a uh I forgot where homie, I, I forgot where he was from. He was from like Little Rock or some shit like that. So we all in the crib. We just, we in the B&B. We just playing Uno and shit. Niggas just drinking, whatever. And I had like three drinks. I had like three drinks or whatever. So I'm like super lit. We were supposed to go to Top Golf, but niggas said, fuck that shit. We just stayed in the crib, played Uno. By the time the Uno games died down and they bounced, now I had the crib to myself so i'm like all right cool now we about to get the plan popping i go to the room crack open a laptop <sighs> drunk as fuck don't even get a chance to fucking jack off don't get a chance don't get a chance to test out nothing but the next day i wake up right and i'm in the bathroom and like it's like the morning you know like the morning piss morning wood situation and i fucking piss and i just i stand up this is might be tmi but whatever we talk about whatever on here i mean when i go to the bathroom in the morning like that's my time that's kind of like my office shit like in the morning i go in the bathroom take care of my business but i'm always on i'm on my phone checking my emails returning texts or you know what i'm saying checking the patreon checking this checking to see who deleted they shit or who added or like checking my accounts and checking, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, I just do all my shit in the bathroom, like in one spot. I listen to podcasts, whatever, whatever. So I'm in there after I take my piss or whatever. And like, my dick is just like, the morning wood this morning is like super duper extra morning wood, woody wood. Right? And I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Like, Fuck wrong, like go down, my nigga. Like fuck wrong with you, cuz. Like you taking all day, and I, and then it hit me. I'm like, oh shit, this must be, this must be the Henny Dick, but like on delay. Like my shit was on like my like it was like Henny Dick like on a Zoom call, cause it was like the Henny Dick, the Henny had was drank the night before, but it was on delay. So like now my dick was hard now. I was like, oh, shit, that shit crazy. So that was all of the confirmation that I needed, right? So fast forward. <laughs> I had a, a. I had a real life testing module experimentation. Um, you know, we were gonna we were gonna get out of the beta phase, or we were gonna get into the to the real to the real testing stage. Now, she had no clue. I was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying what's up. It wasn't a call. I don't, I don't be calling people, so it was more like a yo, yeah, you know what I'm saying like come through. What you doing? You busy? Whatever, whatever. Come over. We kick it. Yada yada yada. Right? Come, she come over. Now, I had a plan. I would say it was like, I hit her up. It was confirmed that she was going to come over, like, maybe, like, early, late afternoon, early evening, or whatever. So, maybe, like, 6, 7 o'clock. So, when she said that she was definitely going to come over, I'm like, all right, bet. So, she'll probably come over at around, like, 10. So, what I'm going to do is, as soon as I get to the crib from the gym, I'm going to get home at about 7.30. Then I was like, then I'm going to record. I'm going to record real quick. So I'm going to be done recording at about 8.45, 9 o'clock. 
So my plan was like, yo, when you get to the crib, take a shot. Straight. No juice, no chaser, no nothing. When you get to the crib, take a shot. Then you record. When you done recording, take a shot. Then you close your shit, you save your shit, you put your cameras up, then you go take a go take a shower. Before you get in the shower, take a shot. All right? When you get out of the shower, text her, let her know, let me know when you on your way. All right? So now I'm three shots in, drying off, going through my lotion uh my 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 lotion regimen or whatever, right? Because y'all, I mean, what up? For those of you who, you who listen to sexual strangers, y'all know I got a fucking lotion regimen. So I, I I get out the shower, I dry off, I stand in front of the air conditioner, I dry off some more because I still be sweating. Then I stay in front of the air conditioner for a little bit more. Then I go and I lotion my fucking my body. Then I, you know what I'm saying? Then I, then I kind of pat it down with the towel because the lotion be making you kind of like sweaty and condensation and all that shit. So then I pat it down one more time, stand in front of the AC one more time. Then I fucking put on my whatever uh, cologne I'm going to put on for the night. You know what I'm saying? Then I put one more different because I got like a, I got like a body butter for niggas, though. I got like a male body butter that I use for like. You know what I'm saying? Like the parts where you, you hope to get sucked on and all that kind of shit. But then for like my hand, my my hands and my arms and my elbows and shit like that, I use like a different other type of like lotion. Or anyway, so anyway, so I go through my lotion regimen, go through my lotion regimen, my cologne regimen, whatever. Then she hit me with the text like, "Yo, I'm about to be on my way." I said, "Cool." Then I take another shot. So now I'm four shots in because I'm also trying to. I'm also trying to take into account, like, the time that's needed for the henny, like, to kick in or whatever. So that's why I was trying to, like, space my shots out. Because I'm thinking, like, I need the first shot to hit as soon as she come, as soon as she walks in the door. The second shot, I need that to hit after, like, the, the, the pleasantries of the, hey, how you doing, what's up, do you want something to drink, yada, yada, yada. Then I need the third shot to hit when I start wanting to, like, make my move and shit like that. And then I need the fourth shot to hit as soon as it's, like, time to get it popping or whatever. So that was, like, my plan. It's so crazy because in the midst of me taking a fucking beverage that's supposed to not make me overthink, I'm overthinking while I'm taking the beverage that's supposed to keep me from overthinking. But that's neither here nor there. So she hits me with the text. She's about to be on her way. I take the fourth shot. Usually take her maybe like 20, 25 minutes to get here anyway. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just about to take another shot. So I take a fifth shot. She gets here. You know what I'm saying? I walk down. I, I get her. Walk, we walk back upstairs and shit like that. She got upstairs. We chilling, standing in the kitchen, talking. Get her something to drink. My eyes is fucking low. They're kind of droopy. I'm starting to feel that shit. But I'm trying to, like, be cool and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's cool. Like, that was how your day was and all that. Oh, that's what's up. That's what's popping. Yeah, you look real nice. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit. Like, like cool shit. You know what I mean? Like, cool shit like that. Right? So, it was kind of, it always be, like, a little bit warmer in the kitchen and it is in my room because my air conditioner out here this shit fucking old I need a new one but the one in my room that should be working pretty decent so as soon as she get up offer something to drink then we just gonna you know what I'm saying like hit her cause that's where I be in my room anyway so it's not like a it's not like a creepy like yeah like let's go straight to the room type of thing it's just like it literally just feels better in the room or whatever that's where I do all my editing that's where I watch my TV that's where I eat all that bullshit so we go in there And I think as soon as we get in there, I don't know if it was because her body was all banging. I don't know if it was because, like, what she was wearing. Or I don't even know if it was just, like, the henny just kicking in. But I was sitting on my exercise ball. And she was just, like, she was kind of, like, standing up. So, like, I started, like, kind of, like, rubbing on her, her thighs and, like, gripping her ass and shit like this and as I'm like raising or like running my hands like 
on her thighs and on her on her ass and shit. Like I'm not feeling no no panties and shit like that. So I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, maybe she on the henny too. <laughs> or maybe maybe this is the henny speaking speaking to me. Maybe she had on panties this whole time, but the henny was telling the nerves in my fingertips to not feel shit because that was gonna then tell my dick that she wants to fuck just as much as I wanted to fuck. So honestly, I don't know if she had on panties or not. She probably did, but my my brain and my henny wouldn't allow my fingers to relate that message back to my my soul or whatever. So I'm like, oh shit, she went on panties on on the dance floor. So I start like raising her uh, raising her dress up and shit, and, like like gripping her ass or whatever, and I was just kind of like biting her stomach and like not really biting her pussy like through her dress. But kind of just like the waist part of her. Like, you know, just like a soft little like bite, nibble, you know what I mean? Shit like that. So, I don't know. And then my dick just started to just like fucking just get henny hard. Like, nigga dick was henny hard. It was hard henny on the henny hard, henny hard hard. Like, so it was like hitting her kneecap. Because I was sitting down. So, like, I'm sitting down like this, like, in the V, and, like, she's, like, standing up, but in my V, or whatever. She's, like, in my V. So, I'm, like, hugging her, gripping her butt right here, but my dick is, like, hard, so it's, like, kind of, like, and I'm, like, wiggling it, like, on her kneecap. So, it's, like, hitting her kneecap and shit, hitting her, hitting her like, ACL and her MCLs and shit like that. So, you know, she's not saying nothing. She, she cool. She chilling. And I'm like, hell yeah, she probably on the Henny too. And I'm thinking like, damn, I hope she don't, I hope she don't recognize that I'm on the Henny. Because if she recognizes that I'm on the Henny, then she probably already know what's about to fucking go down. So, I don't know. But then the Henny just fucking takes over. And I'm like, fuck it. I throw her on the bed. And I just start like eating her box and shit like that. Like. In my mind, I'm eating the box crazy. I don't know. I'd have to have a conversation, a follow-up conversation with her to really understand if it was really crazy or if I was just thinking it was crazy because the henny was taking my body over. So I'm so I'm like eating the box. I don't know. Maybe like anywhere between like 10 and 13 minutes, something like that. And, you know, I think she's. She's enjoying that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm eating a box, sucking her titties. Eating a box, sucking her titties. Playing with the nipples, sucking that one, sucking that one, back down to the box. And then, like, it's a rotation. You know what I'm saying? I was, I felt like I was a fucking, I was a DJ in that moment. I was, I was killing the party. I was. <laughs> you know how DJs be and they be spinning around with the turntables and shit like that? Like, that's how I felt. Like, I felt like I was, like, really getting the party popping or whatever. Man, I'm just like, man, fuck this shit. This is how I know I was on the Henny, right? I grabbed the condom. No, I'm lying. I'm lying. This is how I know I was on the I didn't grab the condom yet. I grabbed the condom. Just not right now, right here in the story. This is how I know that the Henny had taken over. In my mind, I bullshit you not. And if you watch this, if you're a Patreon member, and if you watch this, I apologize in advance. Right? As I was eating a box, right? I'm telling myself, fuck this bitch like she's a whore. Fuck her like she's a whore, Jax. Fuck her like she's a whore, Jax. She's a whore. She's a whore. She's a whore. Now, she's not a whore. But remember, if we will go back a couple of episodes, my main concern was how do you how do you fuck girls that that how do you fuck the girl that you like like the girl that you don't give a fuck about, right? So I was going off of that premise. Like I was literally I had never, first of all, I had never tried to give myself the henny dick right so 
all of these all of these things and all of these thoughts, I feel like the Henny is like taking advantage of them. Like they they really they, they're taking it. The Henny is taking advantage of all my devilish overthinking thoughts. And now they're putting them all into into real life situations. Right. So I'm like in my head, I'm like, fuck her like she's a whore. I'm trying to convince myself that she's a fucking whore so I can like really fuck her like I don't get like I don't give a fuck or whatever because I know that's when that's when my best performances come out of the fucking you know what I mean so I'm telling myself this I'm telling myself this and in the midst of me telling myself trying to convince myself that she's a whore I stop eating the box because my my dick is is on Henny I stop eating the box I go back up to look to lick nipples real quick and as i'm up there my mind just says nigga just keep just keep going up keep, just just keep going up my nigga and and my my right brain my left brain because that's the creative side my left brain is saying keep going up nigga my right brain is saying to where nigga Keep going up to where? And my left brain is saying, nigga, keep going up. Your dick is hard. You right, your, your dick is poking her in the belly button right now. Just keep going up. Put your just put your dick just on her face. Just just put it on her face, man. Just put it in the vicinity, in the proximity of her face, and let's just fucking jump off the mountain and see what the fuck happens. Right? So I fucking I just do it. I just keep going up. I'm I'm like a I'm like a skier in the in the Winter Olympics. I just I just get there and I just go up and I'm just now I'm just I'm just there now. I'm just I'm just there. I'm there. And she she laughs. <laughs> she laughs and she said, Oh she said, Oh shit, did you just put your dick in my face? I said, I froze. And I just kept, I kept it there. I froze. I said, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> and then, and then, I didn't say any words. I just chuckled. I chuckled because she chuckled. And the henny was inside of my chest chuckling. Chest hot as a motherfucker. And then next thing I know, she fucking <laughs> puts, it in her, puts it in her mouth. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, yes, the henny wins again. Yes. Yes, the hay wins again. I said, oh shit. I said, oh shit, let me grab. It. I said, oh shit. I said, oh. I said, oh shit, this henny, this henny, this henny is, is, is crazy. This henny is working magical wonders, miracles right now. I said, yo, I gotta get me another bottle of this shit. I gotta get me eight more bottles. I said, I said, fuck Don Huli. Don Huli, you niggas never email me back. You're not my sponsor no more. Now I'm trying to get Henny as my sponsor. Because this shit is working miracles. All right? So she she go, she do her thing or whatever. She laugh, we laugh, yada, yada, yada. Then I go back to, like, eating a box for a little for a little bit again. And then I finally strap on a condom. And then, honestly, do I, did I turn her over? Then I, I think I stayed missionary. I think I stayed missionary. You know what I'm saying? I think I, I got I got a couple of chokes in. You feel me? I got a couple of Michael Myers, you know what I'm saying? Choke Halloween's in. Halloween Henny Dick. You feel me? Halloween Henny Michael Myers dun 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 type of dick and all that. And then I turned her over. Now we slam her from the back. I'm slamming from the back. I do my I do my little move where I where I reach and, and, and choke from the back, grab the neck, so she looking at the ceiling. Do that. I'm I'm slapping ass cheeks with, with one hand. I think I did maybe maybe I did a one double hand like the Nori, the Nori shit. I'm you know what I'm saying gripping this shit, spreading this shit open. I might even, I don't know, I might have stuck a thumb in, I don't, I don't know. It wasn't me, it was the Henny. If it was a thumb in there, it was the Henny thumb. I don't know. But I just remember, 
I remember this going on for like a longer amount of time than like it should have. Like the way I was like thrusting, right? Like with 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 the vigor in which I felt as if I was thrusting. Like I shouldn't have I shouldn't have lasted like my dick shouldn't have lasted this long. Now, in hindsight, in in sober man minutes, the sex might not have been that long at all. I don't know. We'd have to ask her. I don't know. But for me, I was like, nigga, I should have nutted a long time ago. <laughs> and I was I was like looking down in amazement. And I was just like, yo. I was like, yo, my dick is still hard. And I'm in this. I haven't even nutted yet. I was like, this shit is crazy. In the middle of sex, I really was thinking like, yo, I got to drink more Hennessy. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know if it's something where it's like, it's got to be in my system. Like, like on a continuous basis. Like, should I drink? Should I just drink a shot like every day? Like, just so it's in my system? Or should I keep it to the point where it's like, I just take a couple of shots before I know that's some shit might be pop might get popping might be popping i don't know but i know that i need a couple of more bottles i just anytime i pass the liquor store i'm gonna just go in and just get like a small fifth just to stay stocked <sighs> that shit's crazy and i was like damn yo henny really worked i said yo this is nuts yo henny is really working how I was like, how is this po- this whole time I'm 35 I'm 35 I should have been drinking henny for fucking decades man Damn You know how many more bitches I might have had on my on my dick if I would have been drinking henny this whole time No wonder niggas just be drinking through the disgustingness through the, through the grossness why did no one tell me? I mean, a couple of y'all niggas told me, but why weren't you guys more adamant? And I know if you drink Henny on the regular, you probably don't even know what adamant means. But God damn it, you should have tried harder. Thank you, Hennessy. I'm going to be trying this in the future. Several more times, but yes, yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely be uh, restocking on my on my Hennessy intake, on my Hennessy inventory. Uh, everything from now on is gonna be is gonna be Hennessy. Um, my I'm probably gonna buy some Hennessy shirts. I might get some Hennessy merch. Uh, when I when I <laughs> when I say shit like, yeah, you know I mean, do do you see what I'm saying? I'm gonna start. Prefacing it with henna. I'm gonna be like, yo, do you henna see what I'm saying? You feel me? Hey, cuz let me get some uh henna high C. Let me get some high henna C. Some shit like that. Like I'ma just try to use any possible excuse that I can to put Hennessy within my vocabulary, within my sentences. Cause if you now what I will say is before I get too excited, before I get too hyped. I'm going to need to try this a few more times. I'm going to need to try it a few more times because uh, I have to get my own specific special formula of as to how many shots do I really need to take, right? Like, what's the, what's the perfect number? Because I think this night I took five. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know if five... I don't know if that got my best performance. I don't know if I was just scratching the surface. I don't know if maybe five was too much. Maybe I really only needed four. You get what I'm saying? Or maybe I needed six. I don't know. And then I also have to figure out, like, what's the perfect pocket of sex that the young lady likes to have? Because I've also heard the down the the down uh, 
the disadvantages rather the cons of of henny dick is sometimes that the nigga wants to fuck for a way longer period of time than it being comfortable or pleasurable to the actual woman so i have to find a few more factoring things out to really truly get the perfect formula for henny dick but so far (laughs) so good but uh yeah man next time i next time it happens next time that i feel like giving some henny dick out i will give you guys an update i will give you guys a report hopefully it won't be a bad dick report hopefully it'll be a great dick report um but until next time (laughs) i'm out man